the tide breathes out, releasing a heavy mist as a head, like a salamander's ancient ancestor, pokes out through the shimmering water. In this primordial world, each Tayestiga, a creature from the Devonian age, heaves itself out of a muddy channel onto dazzling tidal flats, its robust ribs arch proudly, its spine strong in its limbs. This isn't a story of a conquest over land. It's about a daily journey for survival. The warm shallows teem with tiny fish during the day, but at night, the water becomes starved of oxygen. Having lungs to supplement its gills is the difference between thriving and merely surviving. On solid ground, predators are few, but each Eostiga's eggs still need water to survive. So, timing is everything. It can only spend minutes on the vulnerable mud, but can linger for hours in nearby pools. Its skull bones interlock, helping it resist the crushing burden of gravity as it explores. Its ears, attuned to low vibrations, begin to learn the new sounds of the land. Its eyes, once used for looking through the water, now gaze us upward, becoming aware of the vast, open sky and the potential dangers it holds. Its feet don't just leave imprints. Their many digits, more than the usual five, help spread its weight across the slippery slime and sand. While its tail is still built for swimming, its shoulders now struggle with the unfamiliar strain of terrestrial life. When a placoderm, an ancient armored fish, ventures to close in the waterway, Ichitayastaga instinctively pivots toward the safety of land. As the flats bake under the relentless sun, it skillfully navigates murky gutters, seeking deeper channels where cool water remains. The landscape is always changing. Storms sweep in, carving new rills and bends, creating temporary pockets of refuge. This pioneering creature learned to navigate these transformations with impressive speed. This gully is a quick retreat at dusk. That fallen log is a second safe spot. It learned to avoid the menacing shadows of hunting birds, especially in the shallows. On land, the dangers are new and uncertain. In the water, threats are ancient and loud, woven into its very existence. Between these two realms lies a thin slice of territory that this early tetrapod navigates gingerly. Its precarious hold on both worlds, secured by scraped bellies, and lessons learned through trial and error. Picture a modern mudskeeper wriggling up a bank. Now, imagine traveling back in time, to where legs are just prototypes and lungs are a welcome side project. Ultimately, this story isn't one of victory. It's about having options. It's about a spine evolving through the complexities of existence, learning that two worlds can be better than one, even if the other creatures in them don't care about its struggle. Thanks for joining this exploration of evil. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts on the next fascinating hinge creature you'd like to see uncovered.